We humans have an incredible capacity to live in bondage to ideas that we know are stupid. We know when we're involved in an unhealthy relationship, but very frequently we don't do anything about it. We know when our self-image is all out of skew, we're obsessing about the shape of this or that body part. It makes no sense, but we get depressed by it. We know that we should not sell our lives to our careers, but we do it. We know that death is coming, but we pretend as if it's not important. Now, I have this sort of related reaction when I come to Jesus or I listen to his teachings, like the Sermon on the Mount, which is sort of his manifesto. He sets forward the agenda of the kingdom of God. And I listen to what Jesus says, and I think, see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that life with God couldn't possibly be like the religious meanness that I see in the world. I knew if God was worth any attention, he'd probably be revealing himself among the weak. I knew that it couldn't possibly be about being judgmental, that forgiveness had to figure in. Uh, I knew uh, that it was about love. And I knew that love could be hard. And I, and I figured that God was serious about right and wrong because I could see the effects of wrong in the world and therefore I knew that there had to be some sort of reckoning in the end. Jesus was and is completely surprising, but I don't think it's because he turns our worlds upside down. I think it's because we get the feeling that he's finally turning things right side up. The first guy to respond to the Sermon on the Mount, insofar as we have it recorded, is this leper who ran to Jesus as soon as Jesus walked down the hill. Now, leprosy was thought to be a sickness that God sent to punish people for their sin. But this leper hears what Jesus says, and the leper thinks, ah, I knew it. I am not too dirty for God. I'm not so nasty that I can't approach this fellow Jesus. Instead of being a barrier to God, I think my sickness might be an opportunity for God. And he runs up to Jesus, and the leper says, I get it. You can help me, can't you? And Jesus says, I can. And he heals him. A great way to respond to Jesus' message, you simply ask, what's in it for me? Now that sounds a little bit selfish, but the genius of the question is that it will, it will almost always suggest to you some personal way to embrace what Jesus says or does. You'll say, Ooh, I need to change that. And we call that repentance. Or you'll say, oh God, help me with this. And, and that's called humility, I guess. Or maybe you'll say, see, I knew it. I believe what you say, Jesus, but I probably need to trust it now. And that might lead you to a point of acceptance or follow through. What's the thing you always kind of knew but never really did anything about? Jesus is probably going to flush that right out of you. And then you might have to follow him.